morning, day two in Cinque Terre. We are sore and exhausted from yesterday, so I think we're just going to have more of a chill day today, walk around Monterosso and hang out with the Hostel fam. <laughs> spot that we're gonna be hanging out at this rocky spot and we're gonna swim hey Shen hey. <laughs> and watermelon baby I know so I ate like a quarter I ate like a quarter of oh my you do not want this with the vlog babe. oh honey <laughs> freely <laughs> freely <laughs> smashed sorry I just don't know how to be freely we smashed in the cobs Woo. and we're gonna go for a swim and there's a cave over here I really want to explore so we're just spending the last couple hours with our hostel fam because this bunch, these three right here are leaving today. said goodbye to three more people from our hostel fam. <laughs> How many did we start with? Uh, seven. seven. So we started with seven, we're down to three. But now it is so hot, we just took a little like shuttle over to um, Corneglia and we're gonna get some frozen lemonade or milkshakes or something because there's vegan, 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 vegan. This place has five vegan gelato options back there. Mm -mm, what is it? It was like wait, coconut, lemon, mango, strawberry. Yeah, yeah, coconut, lemon, wait, coconut, lemon, mango, strawberry, cherry. Mixed berries. Mixed berries. You know, something, five of them. <laughs> we got some vegan gelato. Ooh, you got strawberry and peach rosemary. Mmm. Let me try that. Perfect. Perfecto. Grazie. <laughs> Go to this place for vegan gelato. Mmm. Good morning! So technically this is our final day exploring Cinque Terre and yet we're leaving Cinque Terre. We um, had a good breakfast in our hostel because the guy who, like the chef at our hostel was actually vegan so he made us this really yummy breakfast that we had to down in like five minutes before we caught our shuttle. But now we are taking a ferry from Rio Maggiore to, what is it called again? Porto Venere. Porto Venere. And we are going to try to get some kayaks or paddle boards or something and explore that little area because we heard it's really awesome. When you pass by a place that has vegan gelato, you don't say no. <laughs> Lesson number one. <laughs> Lesson number one, don't say no to vegan gelato. So we got hazelnut and cherry, cherry or strawberry. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, it tastes good. <laughs> Oops, penis pasta. No better way. <laughs> we made it back to Rio Maggiore after having like a nice little exploring time on the island. Had like a snack of some watermelon and got some vegan gelato like I said. So now we're just relaxing. We were gonna get kayaks, but apparently because like there's some weather going on right now, 
the water is super choppy so we can't do kayaks. We might do it first thing tomorrow morning. I don't know. But now instead we're just going to lounge out on these rocks and maybe go for a little swim if we don't die from the, from the choppy water. <laughs> so we watched the sunset with some people from our hostel and just kind of hung out and stuff. And now we are having some wine with Karen. <laughs> And we just asked the chef who's actually vegan, which I might have already said that, um, to just kind of make us a vegan dinner. So we're gonna see what he whips up. And they're cutting food right now. <laughs> round one, <laughs> first round. <laughs> round two. This is so cute. 